What's going on folks, Tandaman here, welcome to another episode of Coldborough Park Let's Play and yes, we have been seeing through this 6 episode guys. I couldn't imagine it is gonna take me so much time to finish the seeds but nevertheless we are going, going very strong right now guys because as you can see field 9 is almost done. We have some few bits and pieces that the fire help actually needs to finish off and let's go through the bushes and take a closer look at nathan nathan is doing an amazing job he has missed some strips but that's all right that is perfectly fine let me take a closer look on this helper over here yeah this does look good actually you know what let's hop in because i do want to finish this myself all right we only have 12 we only have 12 um, liters of seeds left which means that we have to go and refill let's see i haven't refilled the cedar yet and i'm very curious to see where exactly we have to do that hmm let's see i think over here should be the place for refilling the seeds maybe it's for fertilizer hmm let's see let's see but how are we gonna do this if i do this for example but i can't see uh, oh yeah, let's see. Hello? Okay, so this is for fertilizer. Hmm. Where are the seeds? What is this over here? Oh, this is uh, fertilizer as well. Alrighty, so over here is the fertilizer. I'm looking for seeds. If you guys know, probably you can leave a comment below to let me know. Right, seeds are not in here. <laughs> yes, I found them. I mean, it's just been so long since I last refilled the cedar that I actually don't remember anymore. In general, the farm is in great shape, which makes me happy. Can we go in the back over here? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, is that a gate? Probably not. No, it's not. Okay. It's good to know your surroundings, guys, because, I mean, it is my farm and I should know better. But <laughs> that's not the case. And can we turn around over here? I think we can. And this Valtra was white, but not anymore. Uh, do we have space to turn around in the back, though? Uh, yeah, I do have a meter or two, which is perfectly fine. We can do this. And it's getting late. As you can see, it's... Uh, 1600 which means it's a four o'clock p.m right now and it's almost uh dinner time hmm, i hope we can finish with the seeding today so i can send everybody home okay so over here is the seeding bits and pieces righty can we go in and just back this thing up over here like so we have to be careful though there is a uh, a pole over here which I don't want to hit but we should be in the clear yep how are we looking in the back uh, we don't look that good we should jackknife the cedar hmm hmm uh, 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 uh. yeah I don't have room to maneuver why is that though okay uh, can we do this instead let's see and then all the way oh I think this is working do I have room in the back though let's jump out and check this out Ooh, we barely oh god a nugget ha <laughs> we barely hit the wall guys so we need to do a tight turn there we go we should be in the clear let me grab my golden nugget come over here thank you four out of a hundred yay all righty which means that we can back this thing up let me see in the mirrors i can't see anything over here should be fine though how much room I have in the back? I have like 30 centimeters more, so we can do this. There we go. Beautiful stuff are happening, folks. We are re refueling. No problem. Receding, actually. Oh, I almost hit the upper part of the shack here. Hmm. That would be very, very bad. All right, let's hop on in and check how this thing looks. All right, we're filling up with seeds. It should be done. Yep, there we go. Let's climb back close the lid beautiful stuff are happening i actually don't need to spend two grand on seeds because uh, um we are ready with that particular field field nine is finally done folks but let's just show everybody that we can spend the cash with no problem 
Oh man, every time I forget, every time I forget that actually I don't need the um, to refill the cedar all the way, and it's least, which means that we are returning a cedar full with seeds for the people that actually lend us the horse cedar. Hmm, probably they will be very very happy. And I think this is actually it, folks. We managed to finish field nine after like what? Three million episodes. Let's see, let's see. I don't see any bits and pieces. So yeah, this is actually it. And also Nathan over there is doing an amazing job with the voucher. He is almost done with that particular field we are folded all the way yes we are let's be very very careful and then do need to go and return it by the way let me see if we go to the mini map over here and let's see we the helper doesn't need to refill the seats also let me save the game just in case folks and time scale why is it by three i want it by one okay um uh, let's see let's see let's see we have canoa we have wheat, we have the potatoes, we have the corn, soybeans is something that I was considering, maybe barley, maybe more wheat, fuel too, no regrets, let's see how this thing looks, hmm, doesn't look that bad, but let's check on the, so we can see it actually anything, uh, the corn, by the way, thank you virtual farmer for letting me know, for the corn we shall be good. Um, canola has. Ooh, we can see some sunflowers, by the way, guys. Hmm, we can definitely use the about uh, the horse cedar even more, but I do need to park it somewhere so it's out of the way. Field two for sunflowers. I was thinking about just using it for soybeans, but uh, right now sunflowers does look very very promising, and I think I found the place for the vow uh, for the horse she cedar it should be over here but i do need to make some space which means we need to hop in over here Alrighty, let's move you out of the way of course we are in the way going at maximum drop this down Ooh, perfect let's move the case out of the way i should park it over here let's watch out that should be fine um let's see turn it around being careful oh and nathan has called us to say that he is done which is awesome okay we are squeezing in with no problem How are we looking in the back oh we don't have much room though okay, this will be a tight squeeze folks there we go turn the engine off how this thing looks whoa whoa hmm I'm gonna mess with it uh, some other time. Alrighty. Now, about the horse cedar. Let's try to back this thing up like a pro. Oh, we're not gonna have enough room over there, guys. Oh, let's try this again. Again, not gonna have enough room, folks. Okay, third time is the charm. Third time is the charm. Alrighty, there we go, beautiful. And do I have more room in the back? I can't see very well. Um, no, this is actually it. So what we need to do is just unhook this up. And there we go. And go and find a place for the voucher. Nathan is done seeding also, which means that we can grab the fended too. We don't have space over here. We don't have space over here also. Um, you know what? Let's actually just park the va- Oh, to, 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 to. that was a bit too hard on me. Let's park the voucher over here, guys. I know it's outside, but it should be fine. Okay. So, field 7, 8, and 9 are done. I do need to finish. Yeah, and he already told me that he will leave some bits and pieces for us, but that's alright. We can finish this off. Yep, that does look promising, okay. There are small bits around the electric post I need to grab though. Hmm, 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it should be all done. Lift the cedar up and do that 180 degrees. Those small bits here and there, I'm not gonna be bothered with them that much. We can just leave them. I mean, we're not gonna become richer or we're not losing anything just by uh, grabbing those. And I just don't wanna spend the time now. I think six episodes right now is more than enough for um, four fields, guys. <clears throat> And yes, I am quite surprised that playing realistically does take quite a while to do. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna grab it. Okay, fine. There we go. I'm grabbing as much as I can, guys. There we go. Beautiful stuff are happening. Okay. Uh, do we have... Let's see how this thing looks. Yeah, it's fine. I think we have a spot over here. Yeah, I can grab you for sure. Okay, lower this down, turn the cedar on, there we go, it's removed. Again, lifting the cedar up and let's go over there to the light post because, yeah, as you can see, there are some bits and pieces. Actually, it's fairly big spot that Nathan decided to leave. Probably he was afraid to hit the cedar or something, I don't know. Okay, but what we could do is just turn around over here. Let's back this thing up. You know what? We can just leave it over here like so. It should be perfectly fine. Okay, go up, go up, go up. We have some spots over here. There we go. Lift the cedar up. We can turn around and grab the left side over here. This should be fine. Okay. How is that looking? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's back this thing up. Oh, I can feel the tension of the tractor in front. Yeah, the cedar is just a notch heavier than the tractor can operate normally, but that that's perfectly fine, guys. Okay, let's stop it. I was about to say let's pause it, but nope. Recording shall continue. Okay. There we go. Let's just pull this small bit. Ah. <sighs> Okay, this should be all fine and there is two more strips we need to get the first one is over here right at the edge let's see over here we should be fine let's try to be very very careful folks not to hit anything there we go and now I just need to back this thing up like so beautiful stuff are happening let's turn around Alrighty, oh, we are a bit too close, but that should be all fine. Yes, drop this down, turn this on. There we go. Yeah, no problem. Beautiful. Alright, and field 8 and 9 are done, folks. Finally. Finally. Okay. Let's fold the cedar. I think we own this cedar, right? Let me go to garage and let me check this out. Cedar, cedar. No, we only own the cultivator. This is very interesting, which means that I do need to wash this up and go and return it. The horse cedar is for keeps. We already decided that we can seed some sunflowers. Uh, let me open the gate, okay, let me push the gate, wow, this is actually very, very good, right, let's go in, it is folded, so no problem, uh, let me check, are we missing any fields, field 23 and field 22 can stay for grass, that's no problem, we're not gonna mess with them. Uh, we do have field 5 though, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna see. I mean, I have the potatoes, I can have sugar beets, eh? but... Uh. So, we have field 9, field 8, and field 7. Beautiful stuff are happening, which means that we have our corn, some flowers, and wheat ready to go. Okay, let me quickly go return the cedar. I'm gonna grab a fertilizer spreader because we don't own one. And this particular bread of cedar that we have in the back actually doesn't um, fertilize and seed at the same time. And I do need to grab fertilized prayer. So like I said, let me go to the shop, return the equipment and we can continue. Well, I forgot to wash the cedar. I hope the guys are not very angry at me, but I don't think so. Probably 
they will need to inspect the cedar after we return it to make sure that we didn't break anything so we should be fine guys let me unhook this up go a little bit like so so the guys have place to maneuver so yeah let's inspect the cedar ourselves it is dirty that's for sure but in general the cedar is in good shape i do see a little bit of wonkiness over there but we should be fine hoses are all good no problem with that i did have to replace some of these over here which is perfectly fine but in general i do think that the cedar is in good shape and they will actually uh, take it back with uh, without us to have to pay anything so let's go and check and why is nobody around that's very strange you know what whatever let's just return it over here right so return value it's not minus which means that we don't need to pay anything okay next thing let's quickly jump to the shop and let's see we are needing for fertilizer spreaders hmm i can grab the horse again but i don't think so nah, 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 nah. we have this roush over here old generation macy ferguson the amazon one does look promising it spreads with uh, 7.4 meters actually nah. uh, mm -hmm. 24 meters the Kun one is 24 meters, also the Bredo. Decisions, decisions. I haven't used the Rauch before and it does look promising. Hmm, you know what? I'm thinking about leasing this one or maybe the Kun. Hmm, you know what? Let's just do it. I haven't used this one. Let's lease it for now because if we like it, we will buy it. And of course, I do need to grab some bags. And also, I noticed you guys told me that it's not realistically to grab these bags. I can assure you, these bags are small 25 kilogram bags. That's why they're to uh, 150 liters, okay? And why did I bought just the fertilizer? You see what you're making me do, guys? Uh, fertilizer. I need fertilizer. Okay. These bags are just normal 25 kilogram each, so no problem with that. Okay. First we need to open the cover up, which means we need to turn around over here. I will use the horse one, no problem with that. Okay, let's back this thing up like so and we have the cables in the back. Let's see, let's see. Can we hook this up? Hello? Hello? Or maybe we need to do this. There we go. Let's see, can you hook this up now? Thank you. Alrighty, let's open the cover up. There we go, cover is removed. So no seeds, just for the last bags. And these bags are heavy, folks. These bags are heavy, to, uh, like I said, 25 kilogram each. And I noticed, yeah, that comment, using the bags is not realistic. Well, I think using these kind of bags is realistic. I don't have um, the muscle mode on and I think I can show you by trying to lift some of these ones if I can. Uh, the Castro bottles can be lifted. Let me see. Does it have some liftables inside I can show you guys? Hmm. No. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, whatever. But like I told you, muscle mode is not on or you know what better yet i can show you this way you see where is it muscle mode is off there we go and i'm grabbing my bag unloading it and everything is awesome right so how much is that two thousand oh no we need to grab a little bit more so let's see here it goes two more bags let's get three more bags beautiful let's hop back out refill the cedar and get back on the field We are back at the farm and for me just to make sure I may have to use the GPS mod and this thing does come standard with the GPS and the antenna is integrated inside I don't think we have an antenna on top right I don't think so no we don't but uh, the dealership did told me that there is a GPS integrate so let's see if actually if 
we have one let's see stop the tractor let's see if we hit this button nothing happens if we hit this button nothing happens maybe this one yeah there we go and we have the gps on beautiful let's see mm-hmm mm-hmm beautiful stuff are happening we can do this and i do need the gps mod just to make sure guys or just i do need the gps on the tractor itself just to make sure that we are spreading the fertilizer properly which means we can go on this side and back this thing up let me place the cover of course Ooh, we can't see almost anything all right let's see how this thing works if i hit this oh there we go so we are spreading fertilizer yes everything is awesome all right beautiful otherwise it is very hard to see where we actually are spreading and the best thing is the gps in the fended right now it's a latest version which means that we the gps takes control of the tractor itself which is awesome also we actually can take it ourselves and do this so we can just grab the edges of the field so we don't the gps unfortunately it doesn't turn around by itself it could only go straight by the um uh by the different strips it has as you can see we have different lights and actually you know what let me turn it off for now just because we don't need it uh, we can definitely see that we are good in the back mirrors um we are leaving beautiful strips in the back which is awesome let me turn on the other side yeah it does look promising no problemo um, but like i said guys the gps does go on strips unfortunately it we can't load the whole field and to make the tractor turn around by itself it can only go straight and keep the line but no problem that's why we are here it's not on autonomous driving guys mm -mm, that's not the case over here okay we can go up and see if the tractor has enough horsepower to pull and spread at the same time i think we are good yes everything should be fine beautiful stuff are happening okay let's see let's see what we have done mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think we are doing very well and it does get late guys i mean it's uh for a quack right now so i think it's best for us to keep on moving and don't stop because we soon have to stop for the night the gps mod is very handy guys the gps is very handy on this uh tractor over here as you can see we have a bunch of statistics for example how wide the work spread is and we are getting different sounds so we have different um different alarms to be exact and let's back this thing up over here in the back mirrors everything is good there we go Alrighty, beautiful stuff are happening so yeah we can see that we are at 26 meters working wide also how far away we are from the edge of the field currently 160 150 meters 140 this is all information just look at this work with uh, corset we have offset as well we have to auto turn but unfortunately we can't use the auto turn guys it's not for us mm. Uh, I do know however that the next um, vow, uh, the next fended <clears throat> in the fended family does come standard equipment equipped with the GPS and it can turn around with the GPS because ours is installed but it's an aftermarket one it doesn't come pre-standard pre-installed when you buy the fended we had to install it well the dealership is to install it but for us mm -mm, no okay so as we can see fertilizing is going amazingly folks look at this okay let me stop this turn around nothing is behind us we can see that in the back mirrors okay do we need the gps mod uh, the gps for uh, this strip over here yeah why not let's use it so 
so we need to turn around over here we can see the different lines over here amazing stuff are happening alrighty there we go and the best part is it comes standard equipment with these infrared uh, spotlights which are uh, the whole tractor is uh, converted into seeing that they, uh, the windows of the tractor have a special folio which actually we can see the lines on the ground you can't see when you go out the track for example look at this boop you can't see anything okay all this folio inside we can see like 3d and this is the latest uh, technology in the agriculture equipment which is amazing okay almost done over here we do have a small bit left okay this should be it let's turn off the fertilize spreader actually we need let's turn off the gps mo uh, the gps on the tractor itself we don't need it okay and we do this there we go beautiful everything is going awesome so we managed to fertilize this field successfully yes field 7 is all done the next thing we have to do is fertilize field 8 but we are at time for today and it's 4 o'clock 4 30 so we can definitely do that the next time let's just leave the tractor here alrighty so yeah guys this should be it for today thank you very much for joining me i will see you on the next episode